What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to talk about Icarus in the survival genre. It was showcased at the PC gaming show of 2020 from previous DayZ developer Dean Hall with their current studio Rocketworks. It's available now on Steam only. But let's break down what Icarus actually is. In Icarus, players descend into a hostile alien world from an orbit in space station to gather valuable exotic resources, build tools and structures, hunt and be hunted by wildlife, and try to make it back to their space station alive. You can also play up to eight players in a group. The key feature is session-based survival, meaning that each mission has a limited time for you to complete before returning to the space station on your dropship. You won't be getting attached to any particular base or locale, focusing on meta progression through blueprints and skill unlocks across missions instead. Previously leading up to launch they did multiple beta weekends, I think seven in total so that players that pre-ordered had a chance to try out all the different biomes and all the different mechanics. And in a recent press release, Rocketworks has a multi-year plan for Icarus, adding chapters with additional playable content and lore. The first chapter, the first cohort, begins in Icarus' most Earth-like biomes before the game expands to more alien and threatening zones. It's very cheap as well, it's roughly sitting in the £20 range. Reviews on Steam are sitting in the mixed category at the minute. A lot of people are saying they're experiencing problems with optimization, performance, bugs, etc. When it comes down to the recommended specs, as well as the minimum, massive jump, 16 gig to 32, 30 series to a 10 series, 70 gig available space. Definitely gonna get more out of this game visually on the high end side compared to the minimal but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So let's break down the basics. As a player, it means you pick out your prospect and you get dropped on a particular game map and biome early on. You'll have most prospects fresh, creating new tools, structures, and gear each time you land. Each mission has an objective and a time limit. You might be asked to kill a particularly dangerous animal or take survey equipment to certain locations. At the end, you'll need to return to your dropship to complete the prospect. These surface prospects can be short or long and last for hours, days, or weeks. Think of it being like Escape from Tarkov, where you need to get into a dangerous area, do your job and get back out. Some of these prospects can last much longer than the ones in Tarkov. In total there are 35 prospects of various durations at launch. To make progress you'll level up when crafting, mining or fighting on Icarus. Each new level grants you skill points and blueprint points to unlock new crafting recipes and passive abilities that you keep between sessions. Now let's talk about the biomes. Icarus is being developed on Unreal Engine and the planet's terrain of course to Hall is all handcrafted. Icarus is not relying on procedural generation. There will however be procedural elements in play that means things on the planet will change such as caves being open or closed, weather events and resources appearing in different places on different missions. The planet underwent a terraforming effort but it failed due to the reaction of the hidden exotic resources on the planet's surface. This made the planet uninhabitable except for wildlife transplanted from Earth which has adapted so now there's a rush to collect those exotics which is extremely valuable. While on the planet, players can craft tools, build roads, bridges, and other planetary infrastructure, which may be necessary to transport the materials they've mined back to their dropship. Players will need to stay hydrated and fed and maintain their oxygen supply. And there's plenty of wildlife to hunt for food or defend against. Otherwise, the planet doesn't look all that different from Earth. There are trees and other plants and biomes with deserts, mountains, and snow. The first part of the game takes place in the forest biome but players will eventually have to brave tougher areas. But what about the space station? The space station provides the other side of the experience. While you can build primitive tools on the planet, you can build advanced ones on your station using the exotic resources you bring back to orbit. You can research and create new tech that can help you on your next mission. There are plans in the future to allow players to access vehicles and customize their dropships, but currently it's not available. That doesn't mean that you can bring every single thing you've built on your space station with you on your missions. Hall referred to the dropship system as a choke point since it limits what you can bring down to the planet with you, which he says creates a balance between the uber technology of the space station and the primitive world of the planet. Icarus also comes with a creative-like mode called Outpost. Originally, it was only exclusive to players that shelled out $100 for the Supporters Edition, but now this mode has been confirmed for everybody. Though players with the Supporters Edition will get an extra copy of the basic map and a special Arctic Outpost map too by default. You'll get a one kilometer square forest outpost map with no time limit and no 
not in the much of way of danger. Only one of your characters can be on the map at once, but you can invite your Steam friend to join you whenever you'd like. And lastly, what happens if I die? Do I lose all my stuff? Well, that depends. If you run out of oxygen on the planet, someone else can revive you. If you're hurt by an alien creature, another player can heal you. The real danger is if you miss the ride back up into space. Every contract is a ticking clock based on your dropship's orbital launch window. When that clock expires, your dropship is taking off with or without you. If you don't make it back to your ship in time for launch, you're left behind on the planet. It's over. The character you've been playing is dead. The progress you've made with that player is gone. And everything, every piece of equipment deployed with that player is lost. Paul called getting left behind the one failure state in Icarus. So keep an eye on the clock and don't miss your launch or you'll lose everything. And that'll be it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit a like for the algorithm. Subscribe for more upcoming gaming news. And as always, hit that notification bell to know when my next video goes live. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you then.